Hi, this is Mrs. Benning and I'm going to show you how to create a magazine cover. You go to Mr. Supon's page on my website, shamanadlibrary.org. You click on Big Huge Labs. and Then you go down here and you're going to click on Magazine Cover. Now you'll notice that there's a picture on your magazine cover and that becomes important in a moment because, see, you need to upload a picture from your computer to be the um, main picture on your magazine cover. So you have to have already have uploaded some nice picture to make uh, you know the front of your magazine cover just really gorgeous and I just happen to have a picture, there's Jerusalem, so I click on it, I click open, and now you're ready to create the rest of your magazine cover. Um, so you go over here to choose a layout and you can choose any layout you want. There's autumn, it adds some leaves in there. You can have a green tagline or a red tagline. So I'll just choose red, red tagline. You can choose a different font if you like and your magazine title. I chose Jerusalem Times. You can choose whatever you want and if you want it bold and you want to add a shadow, that's great. To, ch to change the color of the font, you click on this and then you get this little color wheel and you can make it whatever you want. And the tagline, that's the one that goes right above the magazine title. Uh, let's say that's best city ever. And uh, we want that to stay white because otherwise you wouldn't see it if we made it red. It could be black or whatever. Publication date is down here. Price is down here. You'll notice that there's all these different lines. All of these lines correspond to these lines. Okay, so here's line seven. So anything you type in that line seven will go right here. Okay, so that um, makes it easy because it's all uh, just done for you. The template's all done. So your publication date, I put 8033. Um, I better give it a color. And the price, I put five shekels. You will make it whatever you want. And I'll make it blue. Uh, sure, bold and shadow, why not? And then line one, uh, best magazine ever. <laughs> And um, so that's what you do. You just go through and you, you enter the um, content that you want in these different lines. You don't have to fill up all the lines if you don't want to. And then you scroll all the way down here and you click on Create. And there is your magazine cover. And inevitably, you will find something that you don't like. Like maybe you don't like that this is in blue or you want to change this text or whatever. So what you do is you do not use your back button because I think if you use your back button, you lose your content. What you want to do is you click Edit and that will take you back to this um, editing place where you can edit. Now let's say you don't like the photo that you chose. You can click upload and you can choose a new photo. Okay, and um, let's change this color and we'll change this color and we'll make this blah -de blah and then we go down and we click create and it might not put a, oh it did, it put the photo in there. Okay, so that's what you do and you keep going back into edit and changing it and then coming back and um, and eventually it will just look fabulous and perfect and you won't want to change a thing like this does. This just looks stunning. <laughs> so then what you want to do is you want to save it, but we're not really going to save it. What we're going to do is you click on save and then down here it will give you an option to open, save, or cancel. Well, I know I said we wanted to save it, but really what we want to do is we want to open it. Because what we need to do is we need to save it as a PDF. And you can't do that unless you um, open it. So then what you need to do is you need to go up to File. There we go. You're going to go up here to File and then Print. Well, oh, Mrs. Benning, we don't want to print. We want to save it. Yes. But what you do is you, you select Adobe PDF as your printer. And it's going to change the format into a PDF. So don't select any of, the, any of your other printers. Select Adobe PDF and um, then go down here and hit print and it will convert it to a PDF. Well, it will after you name it. <laughs> so then this little box pops up and it wants you to, uh, to name it. So we will name it magazine cover and we will put it on the desktop and then you click save and then it converts it to a PDF and there it is in all its fabulosity as a PDF. Now you can, um, of course, you'll want to rotate that we're going to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. There it is. And then you just want to save it. And you are good to go. It should be saved on your desktop in PDF format. And that's important because uh, the rest of your magazine is going to be in PDF format. And so we need to have it all the same. So then you can just click out of here and click out of here and go on with the rest of your uh, magazine.